I wanted to steal your hat with the little the bunny, ears. The bunny ears. But you really didn't cute. get there fast I, enough because I, I have it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. I'm Julianne Moore. And I'm Nicholas Galatine. And we're getting up close with Cosmo UK. So many of the parts of the, of the process that were challenging were also the most enjoyable parts. I, I think, you know, George becoming this Renaissance man and having to acquire all of these skills was incredibly daunting, you know, speaking French, riding horses, playing the viola de gamba, dancing, and we had such a crazy packed schedule that there wasn't often a, a lot of time to really sort of bathe in these activities and, 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 um, and let them nourish you, but I, I had so much fun getting to pick up all of these little skills, however daunting it was. I agree with Nick. I think for me, as an American, it was incredibly challenging to play this English woman, and, and certainly a, an English woman in a period setting, which is something that I hadn't done for a very long time, but I, I loved the challenge. I liked leaning into it. I, I loved being here in London. I absolutely adored this material, and we had we just had great castmates. We mm. had a lot of fun. Mm. I did have a dialect coach, Magella Hurley, and I absolutely adore her. We spent a lot of time together. She would come over on Sunday mornings, and we'd work, kind of work through the, the week's work. And she was with me on the set, and I also listened a lot to um, the other actors, and and I would ask people, you know, how it sounded, and hope for the best. <laughs> For me, because I had so much, so much dialogue, I really just stuck to what I was learning for that day. You know, it's important to make the distinction between um, the fact that Henry is sort of born into royalty, whether George is very much um, encouraged and and raised to aspire to to royalty and has a different level of hunger and appreciation for it, whereas Henry's kind of um, uh, shies away from it. The sort of poise and etiquette that these characters have to embody is is certainly really interesting and really fun, and it's very alien from, from my own life. There's definite enjoyment in that, and... You know, looking back to this this royal court in the, the 1600s, I mean, the, the sort of intrigue and, and gossip that, that went on within that community is also um, incredibly uh, fascinating. So I, I would say that was what I find similarly exciting about those two projects. Yeah, we had an amazing intimacy coordinator called Robbie Taylor Hunt. Um, I actually worked with him previously on another movie, and it was just really about trying to... Uh, ground myself in in George's body and his charisma and giving him this sense of of comfort and poise in those you know very tense moments to oftentimes film on, on set there wasn't an incredible amount of prep work necessarily in that sense but I think it was just more a comfortability uh, on set and uh, really like owning the space I think um, when performing those scenes I went home and took a bath. That was really it. I would get, I mean, I, actually, we were shooting so far out of London every day. It was usually at least an hour, sometimes mm. an hour and a half in the car on the way there, and same on the way back. And so all I did was come home and eat something, mm. look at my work for the next day, take a bath and go to bed. It was, that was it. I, yeah, I felt so <laughs> antisocial for the space of about six months because, yeah. you know, you, I, I live in the States now and you come back home to the UK and, and all your sort of English friends expect to be able to hang out with you while you're doing a job and and it was I think that was actually a very impressive thing as I felt there was there was uh, such focus from everyone who was on the project at, at this, you know to create this thing that we were making because it was a, a really big task certainly the pearl earrings I thought were I mean they're so George I mean portraits there were some incredible portraits I feel like um, I wanted to steal your hat with the little the bunny, ears. The bunny ears but you really didn't cute. get there fast I, enough because I, I have it yeah, exactly uh-huh. I should have been uh, swifter okay <laughs> um, that's all that's all you took yeah just the hat with the rabbit ears oh, okay yeah. there you go thanks for watching Mary and George is available on Sky from March 5th.